Good day. We are solving problems on machine involving pulley. Now, what you need to do is to write down the parameters. Four pulleys. That's the last ratio equal to four. Raise a load of 15, 500 Newton. Load 500 Newton. Through a height, that's small letter L. Distance mode by load equals 20 meters. If the total work done against friction in the pulley is equivalent to work done against friction, work done against friction because it's hundred tools calculate the total work done by the efforts work done by the effort pressure mark and also the efficiency pressure mark and the efforts applied pressure mark now what you need to do is that you now go to the formula which is work done work done by the effort equals work done in raising the load plus work done against friction what do you mean by that? when you are applying the effort when you are raising the load up using an equipment instrument whatever, on the client plane you are pushing it there will be work done against the friction now we are dealing with block and tackle system of pulley we are trying to raise the load up you are pulling it there will be friction between the pulleys as you are raising it and there will be friction generated in the course of raising it up that means that the efforts when you apply the effort to raise the load with the pulley you see this is the pulley you are trying to use the load here and now applying the effort the friction frictional force is taking place here that's this is the load distance moved by the load effort applied is this is the man distance moved by the load as you are pulling it distance moved by the load times plus the frictional force work done against the friction plus equal plus work done in raising the load as load times distance moved by the load, load times distance moved by the load will give you what is work done by the efforts done by the efforts now what we need to do now is to have what is work done against the friction, the load, we have the load times distance moved by the load distance moved by the load distance moved distance moved by the load plus work done against friction against friction now when you have something like that because our load load is 500 times distance moved is 20 plus uh, 800 if you have 10,000 plus 800 equals 10,800 joules 10,800 joules 
has worked on has worked on by the efforts. Now, we want to get the efficiency. Don't forget the efficiency because efficiency because um, work inputs, work outputs, work outputs cost over work input times 100 percent. And uh, the work output here, work output is load and distance moved by the load. These are work outputs. That's 10,000. What are work inputs? That's work done by the efforts input. 10,800 times 100 per hour. Zero comes to zero. And do your multiplication very well. Gets ninety two ninety two point six percent. Since we have four police in question, the last ratio is equal to four. Now let's go back to our formula. Efficiency equals to mechanical advantage over velocity ratio at 100 percent what you got in the calculation we just did is 92.6 as the efficiency you know effort is inside mechanical advantage let's leave it as mechanical advantage velocity ratio time velocity ratio is 4 times 100 that's the variable side by 100 divided by 100 100 times 100 i told you that when you're using percentage here don't put my don't put like 2.6 percent now you have cross multiply you have 100 ma equals 92.6 times 4 divided by 100 divided by 100 100 plus 100 mechanical advantage equals kd of multiplication you have 3 17.4 divided by 100. You divide the of the of 3.7. Now, if you don't have, if you have one, two, shoot two times, this one will go. Plus, we have 3.7. Zero for the four thousand eight hundred for only for that. Now, now have the kind of advantage equals to load over effort. I've got it as three point seven. What our load? Load is five hundred over effort equals to three point seven by one. You cross multiply. You have three point seven e equals five hundred. The variable is by 3.7, 3.7, 3.7 cancel 3.7. You have your efforts to be. We divide it. You have 135.1 newton. Let's try the parameters. Velocity ratio equal to 5. Efficiency equals 80%. I put EFF so that I differentiate it from effort, which is capital letter E. What efforts? Question mark. We need to be to load on 218 to the end of this machine. Right? Efficiency equals mechanical advantage over velocity ratio times 100%. Now what's that's 80 mechanical advantage? We are leaving it as solving it as mechanical advantage because effort is inside so that our work is will be very easy. Times 100 divided by 100 divided by 100. 100 times 100. I left it 80 over 100 
becomes a mechanical advantage over velocity ratio. You cross multiply. When you cross multiply, you have 100 mechanical advantage because velocity ratio. You have so the velocity ratio is five. So 80 times five. The values are like 100, like 100. 100 times 100, 0 point is 0, 5 a 1, 5 a 2, 1, 2 a 4. The mechanical advantage is equal to 4 and is equal to load over effort. Now, since you know that that was our load, load is 200, 4 equals to 200 over effort. You cross multiply. You have 4e equals 200 divided by 4. Divided by 4, 4 comes to 4. 4 and 1, 4 and 5, 0. Therefore, therefore, our effort E equals 50 Newton. Please don't forget. The unit is very important when you are solving physics. Effort is a Newton load, Newton. For mechanical advantage, no unit because the unit will cancel each other. Newton, Newton, the unit will cancel out. This is the end of our class. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can get access to the latest video. Have a nice day.